feet, N6QW. And what you see here is the 3X is CNC NC mill, a homebrew mill built my son Nick. And what I'm making here is a circuit board for a dual type MOSFET uh, single sideband transceiver. I program the uh, area to be cut out using a program called G Simple. And KCAM4 is the cutting program, what you see here on the computer. And uh, we're cutting the uh, single sided circuit board right now, going through his paces. Uh, we'll pick this up here in a second as uh, we have more of the board cut. Home brewing, this is home brewing circuit boards at its finest. Uh, let all the machine do the hard work. It's cutting a series of squares here where various circuits will be uh, soldered onto the board. And I've kind of laid it out here uh, so that uh, there is a circuit flow with the various parts. And any area that's not cut is used as the ground plane for the circuits. Again, this is Pete N6QW program. And we can watch the cutting patterns as they're taking place here. And we can see all the actions uh, for the various axes, the z-axis, x-axis, and y-axis. And this is all under uh, uh, computer control. There's the power supply. I had to boost up the, um, the DC voltage going to the servo motors. It was not enough, so I have to rewire that. This is the first test board on this uh, three-axis. Homebrew CNC uh, mill, three-axis mill built by my son Nick. Now I know why I spent all that money sending him to engineering school. Here we're watching the mill cut out the various patterns. What is uh, the drawing is done? It's created uh, creates a DXF file, what's called a DXF file. And that in turn is uh, converted in the uh, computer to uh, G code. So this way uh, the machine receives its instructions from the standardized G code. What's being used here is a standard engraving bit, and there are other bits that can be included in here, uh, various router bits. So if you want to remove large areas or large section of the copper plate, you'd use the router bit. But for uh, putting these squares in, these island squares, the engraving bit works uh, perfect for that application. Again, this is N6QW, and we're watching a circuit board being made uh, here with the three-axis CNC mill. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the way the machine is traveling, but uh, if you look here on the uh, on the computer here, you can see the the tool path, which doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, somehow they figured it out that makes the most sense uh, in terms of the travel. And there we have the completed circuit board and you can see the squares have been etched and the area around is the uh, ground plane. So um, this is pretty cool and it's all done with computer control and little uh, engraving bit. This will be where the um, SBL1 goes. This is where a dual gauge MOSFET uh, IF amplifier, second IF amplifier, crystal filter goes in there. BFO is going to go here, product detector here. So um, we're, uh, we're cooking here. This is N6QW.